Unbelievable first cast of the morning. Let me tell you something. Well, let's get this fish in first. What I'm doing, look at that. I'm swimming a jig. And very first cast of the day, look what I got. I came here way wound up on coffee and I wasn't in the mood to sit still and throw a, a jig and be nice and slow and cover water real tediously. I was in the mood to keep on moving. And the way I did it was with a swim jig. It has become one of my all time favorite lures to fish, but not a lot of people know what makes a good swim jig. Jigs have been around forever and ever. There's the football head that has fished over rocks and very little cover and dragged very slowly like a crayfish. The grass jig has a really heavy weed guard and it's fished slowly in deep or shallow, very thick cover. The finesse jig can be on rocks and or weeds, but it too is fished very, very slowly. Then there's the mushroom head jig for any kind of worm or soft tackle. Now, the swim jig, if you'll notice, has a completely different head shape. It's shaped so that it can get through weeds very easily and it also has a very, very thin weed guard. So that too can give you a good hook set and also get through the weeds. Now, the most important part of this swim jig is the hook. And the reason is you need it extremely sharp. So sharp that it should hang from your fingernail. I always swim my jigs with a single tail power grub but you do need to know how to put it on properly. I always try to match my grub and my jig with the bait fish in the lake. Then, always remember when you put your grub on, it's perfectly straight and the tail is down. Now, when those fish start to nip at this jig, you're gonna wanna put a little tiny bit of super glue right on the shaft, just like this, and then push it up and it'll stay nice and snug until you catch a lot of fish. Now, tie it on a seven foot, medium heavy rod. You need a little bit of sturdy backbone on, a, on the rod for a good hook set. You need to have 10 or 12 pound test when there's less cover, and I go up to 14, 15 pound test when there's heavier cover. Now all you have to do is fish it. Okay, make sure you cast a country mile. Keep your rod tip up at about 11 o'clock. And then as you're reeling your lure in, set, don't set the hook, I just got a fish. You bring your rod tip down and have it face the jig. Look at that, I never set it. Never set it, kept my rod tip down, facing the jig as I reeled it in. And look what happens. Remember, you need a sharp hook. Number two, never ever set the hook. Number three, catch a lot of fish.